All right, yeah, so now we're gonna be looking at the piranha plant. So we only have two videos of him, unfortunately. We have the, actually, let me go to the direct real quick. Cause I remember um, the smash direct gives us a little bit more information than just watching the trailer by itself. Also, this trailer for him is amazing. Sucks we don't have any like CGI cutscenes with it, but this is pretty good too. Also, it's like, how does a piranha plant just mess up that many people? And I also just love how angry Mario looks. It's it's hilarious. Also, that down to that crouch is gonna be really good. Like, I think he's gonna be able to avoid a lot of things. So down tilt, as you saw, just pops him straight up, and it looks like at those lowest percents, you can just combo that into F smash, just because Mario was still in tumble. <laughs> so funny. So um, one of the things that you'll immediately notice is that Piranha Plant's really, really slow. I think, I'm pretty sure Piranha Plant's gonna be slower than Incineroar is. Um, so if you play this character, that's a fact you're gonna have to face. Like you, you are gonna be the slowest character in the entire game. Um, there are is an interesting unique mechanic with Piranha Plant though is that he has super armor when he's inside it. This I'm not sure what move that's gonna be. Whether that's his neutral B or down B, who knows? And he does have like those little feet there. He has a dash attack that's um, similar to Simon Belmont's down tilt, and that should be his nair that flip. That's either nair or an up air, and it looks extremely. It looks really good. Like it's the same as Ridley, so good keep off me tool and option there. And then he has a very powerful spike as well. As we can see, like, that spike is quick. Oh, wait, I forgot. This is the direct. Just... Oh, let's, see how, let's see how fast that is. Yeah, like, look how quick that stop is. It's just, like, it's, there's not really much warm up to it. Like, maybe, that like, that looks like a frame, that looks like a frame eight stomp. So maybe it compensates on it not being super powerful, but we'll see, like that. It's a solid. And then, yeah, he also has that poison. As you saw, the poison cloud doesn't do any knockback itself, so it just does damage over time. That's his fourth throw. Positional um, advantage, down smash, same as Mario's. Probably will have the same property too where the back head of it will be stronger. This looks like his up smash. As you can see, fairly powerful. Like, unfortunately, we didn't get to see if that killed or not. And then here we do get to see all the alternate colors. So we do see seven of them. So it's default. And then you have this green one, yellow, pink, um, black, white, purple, and blue. So the main thing that we don't know is what move is this? This... This, I have no clue. But my guess is maybe up tilt. I can see that being an up tilt. So yeah, as you can see, if when you charge up, which this I'm assuming to be like his neutral B, and then you go into armor and then you get to angle and then attack. So that's going to be a very interesting hard read maneuver. And you know, if you do it from max distance, it's going to be hard to punish. And then also that last thing that you just saw there, um, that is in fact his up B. So, you know, he jumped up beat, and you have a lot of control of where you go, so it looks to be a good move. And then, yeah, so this is a final smash. So it looks like you just move left and right to control where uh, PD goes. That's really about it. Definitely was the most random inclusion. That's right. Piranha Plant will take root in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, and not as an assist trophy, but as an actual fighter. It can spit poison, fire off spiky balls, yeah. And perform long range attacks. So yeah, that, that long range is gonna be great. Its final smash is PD Piranha. If you get caught in the cage, well, let's just say it won't end well for you. Piranha Plant is scheduled for completion after the launch of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, he he looks super slow. We've gotten a little Oh, okay. Um let's launch of Super Smash Let's see how long it takes Duck Hunt to get into a recovery. Smash Brothers Ultimate. One. We've got. 
Yeah, Clay Pigeon is still very laggy because like you can still see he's in a recovery frame there. The only thing we don't know is if there is a quicker fast frame. So the animation could be a see be the same, but he may be able to act a little bit earlier than what we see there. But for now, um, we don't know if the hitbox next to him is fixed yet. That's that's oh, something that remains startup, to be seen. But it probably won't be ready until a couple of months after launch. Please stay tuned. And yeah, then he puts. I wonder if he has armor on that F smash just because he does develop those spikes. So that's something that might happen. Remember, piranha plant. Is um, but. Yeah, that's that's all. We do have one more video of Piranha Plant, at least. So let me go into that. Um, so in this one, we do get to see some more of his moves. Like Nair, I know is shown off here. I'm happy like this is kind of his. This is kind of his home. But as you can see, like this character is absurdly slow. Like, to me, like, he doesn't look like... He looks like the slowest character in this game. Maybe he's, like, slightly faster than Gander, if that's about it. Um, so that Nair honestly looks pretty good. I think you're going to be able to link that into something. So, like, yeah, kind of... Look, like, yeah, he's still in hit stun. So that, cur that, that into grab was a true confirm there. That's not a smash there. Yeah, so he's able to go to the top. Oh, he's even able to go above the top platform of Skyland. So that just that just kind of shows you how much range he has. <laughs> I wonder how you do that animation. Unless that's just like his um, regular sleep thing. That's easy. Um, but yeah, no, Piranha Plant should be an interesting character. Not sure he's going to be good. He doesn't look terrible. Doesn't look terrible. He's got a lot of stuff going for him. Like, he does have the armor gimmick. Probably the. I bet you that that pop that pop move is neutral B. Now it's gonna be. Now it's down B. It's, it's neutral B or down B. So when you do that, armor turn hit. It's gonna be an interesting maneuver. Um, I feel like the recovery is gonna be free though. I feel like that's where Piranha Plant's gonna struggle the most, unless he can just stretch back and like tether onto the ledges. Yeah, no, Incineroar looks pretty, really, really fun. Um, but yeah, no, I think um, that's kind of my stuff on announce. That's my announce on PD. Really slow, but the moves look solid. So we'll we'll just have to see how it plays out. Um, oh yeah, let's go into the miscellaneous characters because I knew we wouldn't have too much um, to talk about with PD. Um, so um, one thing that's really interesting to note is particularly with Game & Watch... I know we have it. Yeah, we have it here. So, um, if you guys didn't know, um, Game Watch has a brand new um, four dare. You're either in fight club or not. There, it's literally just an explosion. Um, so you just do it, and then that's it. Um, whether this is a good change or a bad change, we'll see. But. Basically, you can no longer move forward in forward air, which is a huge disadvantage. So you literally have to be on top of your bomb. We don't know what frame it's active either. Um, like, that'll be a huge change. Like, if it's active frame one, okay, yeah, that's great. But if it's not, it's like you lost a spacing tool. It doesn't look like it damages Game Watch. It only damages opponents. But um, yeah, no, we'll just have to see how it plays out. What else we got? Mm. So Young Link, a um, couple of interesting things about him. So he literally has the same exact voice from Melee. The voice lines are exactly the same. So far the moves are exactly the same. Unfortunately, I don't get to see back air, but I bet you it's going to be the double kicks. It doesn't look like they want to change anything. Forward tilt's the same, down tilt's the same, up tilt's the same. His smash attacks are the exact same. Arrow's the same, bomb's the same. Um, it's just how how it's all going to flow is what's going to be the real question with him. But basically, give him two links of Final Smash, and then um, just the melee move set. We just have to see the properties are adapted for this game. Multi hits Link, so you don't have to worry about people just falling out of all your stuff. And he just might be able to kill a little bit easier. That's kind of what I'm banking on with him. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, play him in melee. You'll get you'll kind of have a feel for. At least how he should move and how his moves will function a little bit in this game. 
You don't get to see him use up air at all, though. So that's that's one thing that was missing. Falco. Um, his animations... His up smash seems to be worse. It seems like he lost that hitbox that was behind him when he did it. His uh, back air still seems good. For up air still seems good. Fair is apparently quicker than it was before. Down air is apparently quicker than it was before. Whoa! Did you see that? Falco has, like, no lag on that forward air. Like, okay, focus on, focus on Falco. Forward air and there, action. Like... Well, almost zero lag on that, so that's basically going to be safe on shield. Which it, it already sort of was already. Something I can confirm for you guys is that Falco cannot, does not have a hitbox at the end of his side B still. Which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, down air is definitely quicker there. Because, um, like, if you played Smash 4 Falco, you know how long that down air took. Um, and slow it down here. Focus on the bird. And then... Yeah. 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 See, it's just... It's a lot quicker than it was before. Yeah, nice. Up it... Okay, that dash attack seems like it's going to be good for comboing. I'm pretty sure it was in Smash 4 as well. But you can definitely do that into an up tilt or an up air. Like, no question about it. Yeah, we got the attack there. And I mean, Falco, other than that, really seems to just have the exact same move set. Yeah, you can see a Young Link has the same dash attack that he had back in Melee. Um, Young Link's Nair has a strong hitbox at the startup, so that's still good to see. Um, that was definitely one of the things moves that he always had to use to kill people. You see, he's still fairly fast in this game, too. He's about to get wrecked. Yeah, unfortunately, like, we can't look at Pichu. Um, we're not exactly... Actually, let me pay attention to Pichu, because I haven't really been watching him. So I don't know what they what they changed with him, but I'm pretty sure it's the same exact moves that he had before. Oh, okay, so that's different. So up tilt, um, it's still an up tilt with his... Um, yeah, 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 his, his forward air is a bomb. Up tilt with Pichu, it's still the tail swipe, but it's a different animation. So he does it from the back um, over him. So instead of like doing it like sideways, it's just kind of lifted up his butt there. So it seems like he has like a more range on it. Forward air has like basically no lag to it. That down air is definitely a spike. I definitely saw Jigglypuff get spiked there. Oh, is that F Smash? Let me see. It'll look like F Smash. Yeah, that, that looks like F Smash. It that thing has like no range on it. Animation is completely different from what it was in Melee. Enjoy. Pichu looks so quick though. Like if you look how quickly oh, no. like when she jumps, like god damn. <laughs> Yeah, that up tilt, that up tilt looks pretty good. Any disjoint will beat it out, but it'll be hard. I still need to see Pichu's back air. That's something that I'm curious if it's the same as Pikachu's. That's down air. We've seen forward air, we've seen um, nair, we've seen down air, but I don't think we've seen up air or back air yet from Pichu. They can still do the crawl backwards. Yeah, okay, so up, up air is still the same. So it's still the stale swipe. I do want to see what the hitbox is like. And I'm pretty sure Nair was converted to what Pikachu has in Smash Ultimate as well. I could be wrong, though. It would be too... Pichu's detriment though, because like then that means he wouldn't have an air where he can't damage himself. And it, it's important for Pichu to have those moves. That was a nine. Yeah, nice. That's random garbage. 
I can't tell, but it looked like his down smash did electricity damage, and like back in melee, that was one of the moves you could do down smash or you could do up up smash, and those didn't have electricity on them. Oh, so back air looks like. Hold up, I think he damaged himself with back air. Let me check. Yeah, so back air now has electricity property, so that sucks. So that means he has less moves that he could use where um, he won't get damaged. Let's hang out here together, dude. We can survive this. There's a lot of final smashes coming. There's a lot of final smashes. I hope I hope uh, Pichu isn't just a pure sandbag character. I hope he has some um, redeeming qualities that will make the damage to himself worth it. But my guess is probably not. Um, Yoshi looks mostly the same. Jigglypuff looks like he um, she got just like a lot of lag reductions to herself. So it's hard to say if she's better or not. But I feel like she's probably safer than she was before. It looked like he said to eat the shit. Try to see if there's anything else. Okay, so I tried to do rest. <laughs> He's trying to go for this rest. He keeps missing. See if he gets one. I need to see. I need to see if it got oh, nerfed more. <laughs> Use the invincibility to get around that F-Smash. So Falco's F-Smash looks a lot worse, too. It just doesn't look like it has as much range as it used to. Yeah, Yoshi's roll is always slow, though. The other thing, too, is I don't know how often that Yoshi was rolling, so it could have been the lag counter that added to it, if you just saw it. Okay, yeah, so that was at zero when um, Jigglypuff did the rest. So F Smash is still pretty good, though. That's good to see. Like, Jigglypuff's Smash attacks were always at least, at least her F Smash was always okay. LMR, I don't think we were really able to gather too much information because the person doesn't really know. Yeah, so like that right there, that's, that's Game & Watch's new forward air. But yeah, as you can see, that hitbox isn't too large. Like, the Yoshi was, like, at the outside of the explosion, but that didn't hit him. Ah, oh, like, oh, look at this. Look at this. Like, this, that, that's going to, it's not going to be an issue too much in competitive play. But look, so the bomb starts behind Game & Watch. And then he throws it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is his new, this is his new animation. So the bomb starts behind, but the thing is, since it is a projectile, he hit a wall, it just, it's gone. Oh, down tilt's a different animation too. Look at look how beautiful this is. Let me slow it down so you guys can see it. Oh, I don't think it's gonna be as good as it was like in Smash Four. Like, look, it's just him going under this and then just does it. So might be able to use it to like duck certain moves. That's really about it. <laughs> God, he missed a nine. Hit her. Oh, this is I wish I could see that bomb fair, but I don't think he uses it at all. Yeah, 
Yeah, and then also yeah. that's new. So now you get three apples instead of one when that happens. It can duck Zana. Oh, that thing is going to definitely duck Zana's F smash. You know that for sure. All of these moves will duck Zana's F smash. But I'm, it's so funny to think that we have a character that's similar to Zana that's now in this game with uh, Incineroar. I find that infinitely hilarious. But um, I'm looking forward to it, though. Well, we did it. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, let me think what other miscellaneous... Oh yeah, so Dr. Mario has an interesting change. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Can't it or not. So it's one of something here. Um, let me type in Treehouse Dr. Mario. This Roar is sick. Okay, yeah. So Dr. Mario got one interesting change, and that's that's his back throw. Um, so the the thing I noticed is that Dr. Mario is still really slow. Like his aerial mobility is garbage. So his recovery is gonna suck. We'll see how far he can go with the Dr. Tornado. Because that's about the only thing that could help him recover. His cape, too. His cape actually got a pretty big overhaul. So instead of reflecting back at you, it reflects up. It's it's weird as shit. So what I'm assuming is that if you're able to hit somebody with a cape, it's probably a combo starter now. So we'll see if it, like, if it even is like a command grab. And I'm not 100% so sure on this, but... His uh, pills might be bigger now than they were before. Oh wait, and I, I actually forgot to point it out. So, oh, I know that, that was the throw itself. So, you know, most Mario, whenever he did the throw, he did the spin, but Dr. Mario no longer does that with his back throw. So as you see here, grabs him, and now he's just gonna like, just top. No wait, he does a suplex throw. That was literally the FU. That's hilarious. Oh God. Um, but yeah, as you can see, yeah, you know, not not super fast on the ground, but he's not he's not gonna be the slow. I don't think he's the slowest thing anymore. Yeah, he still has a strong up B, and it got just the clothesline coming, the the ropes coming out of nowhere. So funny. Yeah, see, so that's the cape launches them up now. It's it's very strange. Yeah, see, look, so he does that. They cape up. It's so weird. <laughs> he throws his uh, his diploma out there. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like I've uh, yeah, so I have Smash is still insanely. Who did he hit? Yeah, oh, he hit Incineroar, but I can't see what the percentage is. Yeah, just down Smash, still strong. Oh, man. That down air, like you're without a doubt in my mind, you're gonna be able to do down air to fair, like or down air to up B. That's definitely a true combo with Doc now. Um, I don't know. Um. As far as I'm concerned, I'm open to playing a lot of different characters. I might play Duck Hunt again. I will have a Duck Hunt. I don't know if he'll be my main, though. Because um, we haven't seen much footage of him, so I don't know. From what I can tell, he has the same exact moves. And he should be a lot safer now because the landing lag reductions across the board. Which is actually insane for Duck Hunt. Um, but, you know, his can physics look like they're different. So it's going to come down to that to see like how good he'll really be. Uh, but the other thing is there's just so many interesting looking characters like I want to play Incineroar. I'm definitely going to play Doc. Um, Simon Belmont looks like a lot of fun. King K. Rule, I'm definitely going to have. I'm going to have a, a Ridley. Um, you know, all these other characters got changed up too, so I just have to see what they're like. So I'm just so open to playing everybody. And then also Pir Piranha Plant. I'm, I'm going to fucking have a Piranha Plant. <laughs> there's no way I won't. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna have to see, like, a lot of these characters got retold. Like, Game & Watch now has a bomb that's a forward air. Like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Like, he literally lost forward air. He doesn't... Game & Watch functionally doesn't have a forward air anymore. He has a projectile that he drops. So, it's... Like, I don't know. Like, there could be some other wacky changes that we're just not ready for yet that we haven't seen. So, I'm looking forward to it. And I'll same here. I'll probably have a Krom. Because I love Roy, and that's Roy without a hill mechanic, so he can be busted. 
Oh, that was dirty. Yeah, you got the spike there. The thing is, I don't think I see him hit fair at all, which is kind of unfortunate. Like here, yeah, he tries to does it, do it, but he's got to remember it's not a spike. I think he hits him with up air there. Yeah, now Piranha Plant, I'm so happy, is in this game. Why would I do that? Yeah, no, that, that fair was good. <laughs> yeah, see, look how big those pills are. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not hallucinating. Like, that, that's bigger than Dr. Mart. His pill is bigger than his head. That's, that should have, that should never, there should be no world where a pill is bigger than your head. <laughs> but, um, so as far as, like, projectile pressure goes, it'll, it'll probably be pretty good. Because his pill, his pill pressure was always decent. <laughs> The run speed looks the same. Dude, I, I, uh, Isaac was the one that I really wanted. Banjo's not deconfirmed, though. Or Gino. I, I do think we're going to see Banjo... Um, I do think we're going to see Banjo-Kazooie in this game. Like, there's no way he wasn't at the top of the list. And I'm, like, 95% sure he's going to be DLC. Because, like, if you're going to put a character that you're going to want people to play to pay for... Banjo's a prime candidate for that. Um, the according to the latest Virgin thing, like he he got he predicted this direct a hundred percent correct, and his source says now that Minecraft representation is still going to happen in some shape or form. So that could still be a me costume. It could be a character. It could be a stage. Um, and then we're still going to get a Square Enix character. So that's where Gino could still come in. I, like I feel like I feel like Gino and Banjo are pretty safe bets for two of our DLC characters, uh, but the rest of them I honestly don't know. Like now that Isaac is now deconfirmed as an assist trophy and so is Skull Kid, um, those two possibilities are now out there. Bandana Waddle D is still a possibility. I, I can see that one happening. Um, but yeah, let's see if there's anything else oh, can observe. Oh jeez, no. that F stash is mean. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> oh god, no. Not 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 corrupt the, the young minds of Smash. Okay, that bomb throw was actually much slower. Yo, that guy got so lucky. Well, that's funny. Man, I'm I'm so looking forward to playing Dr. Mario. I can't wait to have an Incineroar. Um, but I think that's really it for changes that I've noticed. Um, Dark Samus, her changes aren't as interesting as we thought. We thought because she has a regular role, her role would be decent again. But when they did the analysis, we found out that her frame data is the exact same as Samus's role. So functionally, like, nothing got improved there. Um, yeah, as far as Richter goes, they all seem, he seems to have the same exact properties as Simon. So I think it's just pure cosmetics that's different with them. Just kind of similar to what Dark Pit has. Unless maybe the projectiles do something different. But I kind of doubt it. It'll, it'll be interesting to see like the notes when uh, they're finally there. Oh, that Thoros got me. I don't see why you'd be throwing axes more than you'd be throwing side B. The crosses. Oh, come on. No, you don't. Oh! Um, yeah, I think that's it for all the characters that I want to go over because he just kind of dies here. Okay, by what? I think. No, it's not up smash. It's something dumb. <laughs> I think. There's no way they can lose. Oh, no, no. I do like that missile change for Samus, though. Oh, nice hack. Take him away. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. It's just the angle was too low on that down smash. So, that's it. so yeah, like there, that, that kind of just highlights how bad Richter's and Simon's recoveries are going to be. Um, and with that being said, I, that's basically all the changes that I've noticed with every character and the other characters. So, you guys are tuned in. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this game. Like, I was disappointed with the direct, but I'm looking forward to the additions. Like, Cinnamon looks like a fun, a lot of fun. Ken looks great. I don't think I'm going to play him at all. But Ken looks good. I love Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant is definitely going to be hilarious to play. Regardless if he's good or bad. Um, and then... I'm not... I I was liking 
spirits mode i'm still kind of split on i have to see more of it to see if i like it and then we'll see how matchmaking plays out i think it's better but a lot of people have like legitimate concerns about how it'll be yeah with that said i'll catch you guys later see ya